we need to prepare ourselves for that particular time when this population is going to come. I, I, I know it for sure that today a lot of people do not get into this business, this particular market because they are not too sure as unfortunately for all of us, the kind of image that they carry for our fraternity is not very positive. And to a great extent, we ourselves are responsible for this. We need to make sure that this image of ours undergoes a very significant change going forward. And once the inflection point comes, when the people start to draw comfort from our community, I am sure the number of transactions that happen today are, are going to go up by, if not more, at least by 25 to 50 times. Look, if that is the kind of volume that we are going to, going to be foreseeing, I am sure there will be a lot of uh, intermediaries that will be required to service this kind of a business volume. I can tell you that in 1992, there used to be approximately 400 biz, uh, intermediaries in the stock broking business with some six, seven exchanges starting from, you know, your Bombay Stock Exchange to Delhi Stock Exchange to Ahmedabad, Chin, uh, Madras, you know, uh, Jaipur, Ahmedabad and, 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 and quite a few of them, you know, Siliguri and so on. So then, you know, you saw how the consolid consolidation happened and today we have approximately 8,000 intermediaries. So since the volumes grew, so intermediaries also grew, but the business became transparent, the people became far more comfortable and the number of transactions that were happening on the market have gone up multifold. I think if not the exact, you know, ex uh, drawing an exact parallel would not be the right thing. But we are also in the in the in the real estate broking probably are going to go going to grow the similar way and going to undergo a similar learning curve. Now you know there are plenty of things today. Technologies on our side, as the other speaker was saying, that you know you have internet enabled people, young customers coming and doing this. The the easy availability of finances, all these things are are going to help grow our business. Now the challenge for us would be to remain relevant. You know, I always keep sharing wherever I go and I keep sharing with my team also this example that, you know, you have, you had dinosaurs on one side and crocodiles, crocodiles on the other side. Dinosaurs went into an extinction long, millions of years ago, but a crocodile survived. They look like same, they look like coming from the same family, but because crocodiles change themselves with the time, so they are still there. And any species which refuses to change with time eventually faces extinction. We have to make sure that through investing in ourselves, through investing in technology, through uh, making use of, you know, uh, through conducting ourselves far more responsibly, responsibly, we sustain ourselves, we evolve with the passage of time and remain relevant. If we remain relevant, if we are alive and kicking, I am sure we will thrive also one of the days. But if we extinct, then even if the world changes, it will not be of any relevance to us.